Give him a little bit more size up front. For the aliens, Bullet, Iso, Evo Slav, Will Bynum, nice addition when their offense breaks down. Team has a guy that can shoot it, and Chriswell, Barbosa, Meeks, Ayers, Summers, and they're really excited about Jalen Johnson, who was the number one pick in the big three. I'm curious about the aliens. The aliens last year ran a great offense. It worked for half the season, and then everyone kind of keyed in on it. But now with the addition of Will Bynum, Will can go get you a bucket. If your offense isn't working, you can always throw it to him, low clock. This guy had over 33 points in a big three game one time. So it's going to be really interesting to see how they play out. There's coach Rick Barry, Hall of Famer, flat out scorer. And Rick Mahorn on the other side, always with that mean mug. But he looks sharp today. Yeah, and I'm glad he, I don't have to run into any of those Rick Mahorn screens oh. today. I can sit by you today and chill, Scal. First team to 50 wins, halftime's at 25. Must win by two. No game clock, but there is a 14 second shot clock. Free throws are one shot, and the point value, whether you're shooting from two, three, or four point, and the four point shot player must be touching a part of the circle. Earlier in the day, we had a five point play. Very interesting from Glenn Rice Jr. Yugoslav inside, gets tripped. Good, good hit by Barbosa, shakes hands. And if, and if you're coaching, Scout, with both these teams, or any time you start a game, you don't want silly, cheap fouls no. to start the game. You want to try to stay out of the bonus if you're on defense and get in it if you're on offense. There's Bullet for four right off the jump. Short with it. It's going to go out of bounds to the Ball Hogs. That's just a big time shooting lineup. You saw Bullet. He could shoot it. Evil Slav. And the word is uh, Giannis T uh, Tima is a guy that can really, really stretch the defense. His errors up top. Got the mismatch with Bullet taking his time. 10 on the clock. Turns. Double team. Fires out. Barbosa over to Meeks. Short. And with the aliens, because they're undersized, look like they're going to be forced to double team the post. So that's going to create some two on ones on the backside. You see Tima right there. That's a three point shot. Very odd. Bullet set the screen to get him open. He's not going to hesitate for three. Yeah, the aliens definitely can stretch the floor at all three positions. Ooh, Brazilian blur on the baseline. He's going to get two out of it. Yeah, so a lot of times, three on three. Here's the screen. Nice little step back shot there. Wow. That's why they brought him in. They Last year, I, I liked Deshaun Stevens a lot. I like him as a player. They just wanted more guys that could stretch the floor. There's Barbosa on the miss, but ball hogs with offense rebounds. Another little cheap foul right there. It was interesting. Earlier in the day, it was physical basketball. So if you guys love Physical basketball, big three is where it's a mix of football and basketball. And I like how guys had to play through contact. Yeah, no babies allowed in this league. No. Nope. <laughs> Tima with a nice screen. And he hit Evil Slav on the on the dive. And you can see early on with the aliens. Look like all all three of the guys can pass, dribble, and shoot. They can handle, handle the ball, make on time on target passes. Here's a little slip right here. Nice play. Nice finish. Inside. And that's, what, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do when you uh, when you have a lot of teams teams that like to switch. There's Tima, no hesitation. Air ball. Now these guys play three on three X in FIBA in the Olympics. So it's, it's interesting to see how it translates into this game. There's Barbosa, kicks it out, Meeks, back to Barbosa. Those nice oh. beats wide open. Yes. Meeks can make that shot with his eyes closed. Wide open, nice move by Barbosa. Whenever you make a move and your defender's on you and you draw a secondary defender, somebody's open. Yeah, it's just a numbers yeah, game. Especially in three on three. Yeah. There's Bullet, in the pops, inside. Oh. Said. Yes, they really do pass the ball well. Evil sets real workhorse trying to get low position. 7 3. Harris to Meeks. Meeks, Jody Bucket. Nice cut by Jody Meeks. And see, that's the poor communication on defense. 
And when you look at the aliens, their post defense, their switching defense, they won't have a problem scoring the basketball, but can they get enough stops? Bullet on the fadeaway. Very good inside player, post up guy with his fadeaways. Nine five, beats up top. We go dribble handoff with Barbosa. Comes off the screen, turns on the Jets. He loses the handle. Out to Meeks, though. That's, that's the guy you want to lose the ball to. And and it's just like adjustments. You come into a game with a scouting report, but you gotta also determine a scouting report when the game starts. If he's making, you know, threes from the left corner, you might want to decide to run him off the three point line. Rusev against Barbosa. Barbosa held his ground. Tima for three. No, it's going to be short. Barbosa tracks it down. Looks pretty good so far. I was wondering how he was going to handle the injury as well. Yeah. Here he goes. Barbosa hits. Loses it again. Remember on the turnover, you don't have to take it back. Tima for three. Nothing but net. Great shooting so far in this first couple of minutes. The aliens flexing their muscles for three. So are the ball hogs. Take a look, Bar Barbosa, the blur. But the aliens got some defensive play, turning into offensive. And Giannis Tima, welcome to the big three. Welcome back. Aliens up 12-8, a lot of great shooting. Leandro Barbosa got hurt last year, the Brazilian blur. He was one of my favorite teammates in the big three, but he's, it's special to have him back. And Scout, he can hurt you in so many ways. It's, you know, he can dribble left, drive left, drive right. He's actually better driving left, but knocking down that standstill shot, 2021 led the big three in assists and made threes. And when you make threes, then it opens up your drive because the defense has to close out to the touch. They can't close out to contain. Yeah, you see some of the numbers right there, four assists. He had the ball in his hands a ton. The leg injury was devastating, but I don't know what it is. When he tore his ACL, he came back quick. When he tore his Achilles, I saw him this year working guys out, and I was like expecting to see him in a boot. So amazing genetics or whatever it is, but Barbosa is back. There it is. Jody Beach. He's got all 11. <laughs> yeah, 11 <laughs> points. <laughs> points. <laughs> you know, I don't know how old you have to be to lose that shot, but <laughs> Jody Meeks has not lost his touch at all. Good pull it, pull up, that's going to be short. Here's Tima, nice extra. We saw blocked by Johnson. Here's Tima, no hesitation. Ooh, I thought that was money. Yep. It was online. It'll be interesting to see how referees Call those closeout stills three point shots. Oh, oh, let's, take, let's take a listen real quick to Rick Berry. Rick! Get down low! Rick Berry, you're mic'd up. Oh, 
The hustle over here, Avery almost threw me out of the way. <laughs> and him step in because Jody's shooting the shit out of it. <laughs> yep. Great assessment right there, Rick. Very good. I, th I think in English, Rick was just saying, Jody's yeah. making all of the shots. Yeah, yeah, translation. And <laughs> translation. And, hey, we have to adjust our defensive court. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Here's Johnson inside. Ooh, nice middle turn. Doesn't hit the rim. Team is not sure about that. He should have went right up with it. Ooh, good block by Johnson. Over to Barbosa for the layups. Jalen Johnson's got a lot of experience. He's played in a lot of different professional leagues. He's been in the G League. Jalen Johnson here really high on it. They believe he can handle, pass it. He can, you know, you can run a roster with maybe Meeks and Barbosa out there with Johnson handling it. They have high expectations for him. And especially, you know, when Barbosa goes to the, goes to the bench, you know, they'll have Meeks and our Barbosa in at the same time. Summers for the miss three. There's Will the Thrill. Strong take right there. Missed it, but it's going to get fouled. It's Tony Criswell. It's a strong take. Love the way he cradled the ball. And see, and that's where we were talking earlier about, you know, you have a team defensive approach, but individually, when there's an isolation, which way do you want Criswell to drive? Sure. You want him going left. Remember, guys, it's one, one shot for two points. And there's no defense if you get blown by at the top of the key. Right. You got to be able to guard your yard, especially with only six guys out there. You got to guard your yard, especially from the top. Oh, all right, it's a little international flavor from the aliens. Serbia, Serbia, Latvia, all these guys, uh, a ton of 3X FIBA three on three, which is a little bit different than this game, but. As far as the offense and the defense is played the same. And see, this is what I, again, love about Ice Cube and what the Big Three is doing. Just this international flavor here on the three on the Big Three, having international basic team, um, it brings in more fans globally. Yeah, no We're question. We're not just a domestic league. This is a global league, the Big Three. No, oh, Meeks is hot. Nothing but nylon. I'm still waiting for my invitation to go to London. <laughs> I, I think yeah. somebody forgot my cell phone number or email or something. Yeah, you need, you need to get on that. Here's Bynum up top. 16 all. But a great shooting of Jody Meeks. Eagle Slob. Over to Chris Well. This throw with a fadeaway. That's going to count. Boy, as a coach, your plays always work better when when you have players that can make shots like this at the end of the shot clock. There's Summer trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. You gotta have different ways to get Meeks the ball. I don't think he's hit the rim yet, Avery. Right. <laughs> right here he comes off the curl. Very patient with it. Meeks, four on the clock. He's got to go. A little back door. Summers up. Good play. Meeks made that happen with that hard cut. That cut, yep. Very intentional about that cut. It's amazing. When we started practices, when I was coaching, we always started off with three-on-three -three drills. Yeah. Every single day. I think it's the heart and soul of basketball, playing, knowing how to play three-on-three. Yeah, a lot of people, when they see five on five, they don't get that. It's just three on three on one side, two man <laughs> game on the other. Yeah. So now you're just taking it to a bigger court. It's still the same concepts. Bullet, floater, oh, off the glass. And I remember when Bullet joined Ooh. us in the league, he was a little nervous to start. Correct. And man, he's grown in confidence, and now he's got the experience. He knows what to expect. He knows how to get his body ready in the offseason. Oh, off the glass for Johnson. 23-20.
Ball Hogs need scoring from any other person besides Jody Meeks, and they'll take it. Pull it, pull up. Evil Slap keeps it alive. Pull it with the pump fake, he's gonna get fouled. Yeah, a lot of times with Bullet, just gotta be clever here. Look at this one-legged bank shot, even though the bank's not open today. It is not. It is not open. No matter where you're at, all banks closed on Sunday except for here at the big three. You know, the thing about Bullet, he started out on power, which obviously has a big personality. Once he got his own team, we all realized how good he really was. You're saying Catino Mobley, his big personality? <laughs> yes. I'm saying the whole team, oh, yeah. and it's good. We got a chance to watch them play. I really enjoy how organized they are and how hard they play. Boy, Nancy Lieberman does a great job getting them ready. I think their entire team arrived here first. Yeah. <laughs> they were going to practice. No, no question. Catino has that culture of taking it serious, and so does Nancy Lieberman. Well, Boggs have the ball. They get it right here. They'll send us to halftime. Barbosa up top. Attacking, high off the glass, we've seen that before. Going left, finishing right, and that'll take us to the half. Yeah, and a lot of times here, you can't really open up. Look at look at his feet, you see how his feet are open? That's a win for Barbosa in, in that situation. Yeah, Barbosa, after the tough injury, he's back making things happen. What a great day today in Chicago with the big three. Hard physical play, got dancers, we got all kinds of great basketball, and we're halfway through. Ball hogs up by three over the aliens.
Welcome back to the Windy City of Chicago at the United Center. Ballhawks up 25-22. Let's talk a little bit about some of the top storylines. Trilogy looking to be a three-peat as big three champs defeat enemies early on. Earl Clark with a huge game-winning three. Joe Johnson is back, and I love it. Has 29 points, 16 boards, one assist. And guess what? Consistency. 50 of the 60 players returned from last season. All 12 coaches back with the same team. And today we got a pretty good ball game. What do you think so far of this first half against Aliens and Ballhawks? And one quick comment, all 12 coaches, that consistency and commitment, that says a lot about ownership. No shit. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. In this game specifically, I am really impressed with Jody Meeks. Yeah. He's been on fire. He's made all the right plays, uh, taking care of the ball. And when you take care of the ball and you get wide open shots and you know how to move without the ball, here he is. Nice spot up jump shot from the left corner. Barbosa makes his free, cuts back door. Uh, that's moving without the ball. And now Barbosa finds him again. It's just making the right play at the right time. And he's in the right place at the right time. No question. He's got 16 of the 25. And I, what I like about it is when he's open, Barbosa is finding him. Another thing to keep your eyes on, Scal, when you were talking about Joe Johnson with his 29 points, Joe was 3 for 12 from behind the three-point line. The rest of his teammates were 0 for 9. Yeah. Who's going to be that second scorer for triplets? Yeah. We're going to keep our eyes on that all year. Triplets had a really good chance to win that game. They settled for three as Meeks goes for three. Back rim. Here they go with that offense again. Good deflection by Barbosa. Finds the right guy, Jody Meeks for three. Always oh, short with it. People slip. Gets hit. He's so active out there. Yeah, we'll see how the aliens adjust with Meeks, you know, because he, he has 16 points and the rest of his team has nine. First shot open with back rim, second shot front rim. It's only a matter of time before he starts knocking those down once again. Nice bullet. Team up with the cut. Oh, that's an automatic, yeah. It's not loud here in the big three. It's a moving screen by Evil Slip. Yeah, and Evil Slip, in that situation, you really don't have to move. You can almost make a blind pass when that guy gets hooked on it. Your teammates open. I do like the way that they run their offense, though, with all the cuts and the ball screens. It is fun to watch. There's Barbosa exploding behind his back, and he goes up. Hi, guys. Tell the bucket and the foul. The shiftiness in the side to side, behind the back, ball handling him. Nice move, left to right. Finishing off the wrong leg. Now, this this now, is not fundamentally sound, but it, no. it works. Now, me and you are <laughs> pretty popular guys everywhere we go. I hung out with Barbosa one time. It's amazing that he played for so many great teams. How popular Andrew Barbosa is. 2007 six man of the year in the NBA. Pulls up, a little long with it. They're gonna have a foul on the baseline on Tima. I'll tell you what, today, if this is any indication, and I sent some stuff out over social media of how the crowds are gonna be all year, we've gotten off to a great start today here in Chicago. It's no foul, nothing, play on. I agree. And it, oh, someone is down. People said, took a shot. Looked like it was an inadvertent. Might be cut here. Yep. See the arms, the left yeah, arm right there. On yep. the follow through. A little bit of blood. And, you know, going back to your point, it, you're right. It is, uh, this, I'm going to review it, but this is nothing. It is nice knowing that we're going to go city to city. Yeah. You know, it's <laughs> it's it's really nice. Yeah, next week we'll be in Big D. Good commute for you. Yeah, six blocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that's inadvertent. That shouldn't be a flagrant or anything like that. But they're going to take a look at it. I'll tell you, this game has been, you know, pretty good, like the ball movement, the, the player movement, the fouls. Early on, we've had some wars. Man, that, it was really yeah. physical. You and I were, were, were watching, especially Reggie Evans. Remember oh, yeah. Reggie? He's back. Another guy that's back is he has been the most dominant player the Big Three has had. Maybe Joe Johnson's Mr. Big Three. Reggie Evans has dominated 
this game. And um, him being back, you can tell right away, makes a big impact for the three-headed monsters who have, the year before, reigning MVP and Kevin Murphy. They're a, very, a really good team. Yeah, and with the power, you don't want to get Royce White upset. <laughs> <laughs> That's another physical team. That's another physical guy. I think they're really thinking about intent here. Really? Was it some sort of a swing through, or was it, you know, just a basketball play? Just make the call. That should just be foul on the side, you know, like we've all played ball before. There's a follow through when you go up and tip. No one's doing that on purpose. After the after the call has been changed to a technical foul on Johnson, uh, anybody on the aliens can shoot one shot. Ball the play will resume with the aliens on the uh, ball side out. That's going to be a flagrant foul one, and the ball is going to be shooting foul, and you get it on the side. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna be a kind of with the aliens ball on this, they're gonna get the ball back, and it's gonna be a technical foul, so Tima, Giannis Tima can shoot it. They can pick whoever they want. That's a big play. I didn't think I it was. I, I really disagree with this call. Yeah, so do I. I just thought it was a basketball play. Yeah. We'll I see if the I, aliens can I get some momentum. See where it was like a wind up no. where he was actually just look i'm gonna wind up and hit my opponent man tima no hesitation at all he's got a nice stroke yeah that's a five-point play and see you know technical fouls in those situations we saw it even in game one you can have the momentum and if you get a technical foul at the wrong time that can cost your team there's the dribble handoff Andrew, back to Meeks. Meeks, quick shot. Come on. <laughs> Even Jody wow. Meeks is smiling on that one. <laughs> it's one of those nights. And this is also about conditioning. Who's taking care of themselves in the offseason and, and put in the work? Find him with the pump fake. Drops those shoulders, gets downhill, kicks it out to Tima, relocates, three seconds. I can say no shot. Yeah, in this situation, Barbosa almost traveled, <laughs> and Meeks shaked up behind him. We call that a shake move. You shake up from the corner. Meeks got 19. Bullet looking to go ISO here. Nothing going. Fades. Yes. Man, these guys are tough shot makers. Yeah, but you see the craftiness with the shot fakes. And a lot of times, you know, you have that clock inside of your mind like okay i can shot fake three times here i, I have time barbosa pulls up no but finds the right guy meeks on the drive dumps it off kicks it back out passes up to two four to three and it pays off that was probably one of our better offensive possessions to start this game just the ball movement everybody making the best play the right play team of three no Meeks with the board. They got the 33-29 lead. Barbosa in the post. Got Bynum. Takes his time. Meeks on the cut. It's going to be ball hogs ball. Yeah, so ball movement, player movement. Now Meeks, nice short pass. Kick out by Johnson. Bucket. Barbosa. Meeks, seven on the clock. No hesitation. Misses it. Will Bynum tracks it down. Got a foul on Barbosa. Now, fouls are big here. This could come back to hurt the ball hogs. Most is wondering about it now. That's five. So yep. the next time, yep. and penalty is huge in this game. You foul a guy, they shoot, and they get the ball back. Pull it for four. No. Aliens ball. The shot clock to make sure that ball hit the rim or not. They're saying it did not. Yep. It did not. 
So it's 10 seconds with the shot clock. Underneath out of bounds are important. You got to get the ball in clean. Nice pass. You got him with the hook. Pull it with the hook. It's going to be an offensive foul. Probably a little unnecessary there. You could have gotten in really good position without the hook. Yeah, yeah. All right, here's Summers. Hold it. Good cut. Meeks good pass. Open. Yep. Meeks with the hard cut. Nice play. As a timeout. Well, like Rick, Rick Berry's been in the in the lab. Yeah, but Bullet and Bynum, when you're in those little flare screen situations, are we switching? Are you gonna let them under? You gotta have loud communication. Here's the play. Jody yep. Meeks on the cut. Nice pass. Meeks lays it up. He's been the man of the hour. That's the ball hog looking strong to start week one in Chicago. Welcome back. Ball hogs up 35-29, and they look really great. And I know, Avery, they're rubbing this in because I was a part of the ball hog. <laughs> look at that. Right off the jump. 8-30 and 30 record. Come on, guys. Stop stop doing me like that. Now, Barbosa last year, they were they started out really well. He got a leg injury. And this year, Juwan Summers, their number one draft pick, they, they are going a certain direction here. So it looks like so far, they're making shots. They look good. Well, the problem is, Scout, they didn't run enough plays for you. And if you don't get nah. the ball, if you don't get enough touches, I get it, you know? No, nah, Avery, <laughs> if, they had, if they had a six-on-six six league or a ten-on-ten ten league, I'd do much better. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you play three-on-three, three, there is no room for, for, for forgiveness. There is no game plan. There no. is no, I just force you to the baseline because I got a guy behind you. You're on an island a lot, and an island is not a good place for me. Nowhere to hide on three on three. No, nowhere to hide at all. Let's see, I got two of those, one of those, one of those. <laughs> well, we'll see if they can start off with a win and uh, get their season off to a great start. So, it, it's important. It is really important to start out the, in the right direction in this league. It's not a, we're not talking about 82 here. We're talking about every week is like a playoff game. And if you want a chance to make the playoff and you have a game like this, you got to take care of business. There's Dusan Bullet from Serbia. Another good player from Serbia, just won an NBA championship. He was with power, averaged 19 points a game. Started out slow, but got stronger as the went, went along and then got his own team with the aliens and has this it's international flavor. And you know, if I'm a young person, I'm telling you to watch the big three, he always keeps his composure. Yeah. So he never really gets rattled, no matter where, what type of adversity he experiences in the game. He just has the same temperament. And and that can pay dividends for court. Oh, here's a nice play by that. Nothing but nylon. He might be arguably one of the best shooters in this league. 
That's a nice play with one guy diving and one guy popping. And we got to give Coach Mahone credit. Mahone credit in that situation. That was a set play. You know, when you look at the execution on that play, they've they've worked on that. You don't just show up today and expect a play like that to work. And same same thing with Rick Barry with that. Oh, a little miscommunication there. Rick Barry had a play for Barbosa out of the timeout. Yep. So both coaches coming in with it with some pretty good plays. There's Summers. Barbosa looking inside. They clear the side. Six on the clock. Goes for the three. Oh. Barbosa staying hot. 40-34. And you always look at the, the guard play here. We talked about it before the game with Barbosa and Meeks. Can they carry this team? Side out, side out. Barbosa just staring him down. Side out, yeah. side out. Nice little jab step. Create that window. Mm, nice. These are all big buckets now with 42-34. Remember, the game is to 50. Can you close out right now? Great execution by the ball hogs. Oh, footwork. Oh, he blew it. Got to make those. Barbosa in the corner with the spin move. He elevates, kicks it out. Summer, corner three. Yes. Now, if you have Summers making threes, Barbosa and Meeks, this team is going to be very difficult to deal with. Foul's gonna hurt the ball hogs because Tomislav's gonna get the free throw. But take a look. Yeah, yes. whenever your defense is compromised and Barbosa made the right play, Summers could have made one more pass to meet, but he felt that's the easiest three point on the court. So any of those corner threes. These are huge. This is what you call the bonus in the big three. Tomislav is at the line. If he makes it, they'll get the ball back. Cut into that 11-point lead pretty quickly. Hey. Oh, he short arms it to big miss for the aliens. Now three on two. Barbosa oh. hesitates, gets it out. Summers three, big shot. That's a big swing right there. But that's the playmaking ability of Barbosa. How many times have we seen him drive to the basket, maybe make a layup, but make a play for his teammates? Barbosa 12 points in the second oh, half. Bullitt takes his time, that's a hand one. Another huge play. If I'm the ball hogs, I'm not fouling in that situation. That could be a three-point play with the, getting the ball back. That is tough. And this is about what, the ninth or tenth time Bullock have gotten inside. You know he's going to pump fake two or three times. Free throw for one. If he makes it, Aliens will retain possession. He does. And I like this rule. You know, it, yeah, it, it, it rewards the offensive team for being in the bonus. Ooh, pull it for four. In and out. And right now, we got game point for the ball hogs. And now, because you're at 48, you know, threes and twos. A lot of times when teams have 47, they tend to want to just shoot threes. Oh, Barbosa with all the moves. Rebound bullet goes out. You know he's going for three. Oh, that's a big turnover. Barbosa. Summers. Go! Meeks. No. No foul at all. Bullet up top. Hesitates. Goes downhill. Lays it up. Miss it. Push left. And one with a chance to get the ball back. And this is what I love. You know, you're down by double digits in the big three. A lead is never safe until the team gets to 50 points. Yeah, you have to finish it out. You don't just wait around for the clock to expire. Right, right. Big free throw. Short again. Balls need a good possession here. Meeks pulls it out. As he pull up. Man of the hour. Caps it off. Bad with decision. Pull up three. <laughs> Jody Meeks. That's that dude right there. That is him. Bad decision by the aliens. What were you thinking? He must have thought he was guarding me. Yeah. Or me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new, a new sheriff on the ball hogs. That guy, he's, he's making some string music out there. <laughs> 